Today's hike is the Waskasu River Trail just north of the village of Waskasu. The Waskasu River Trail is a two kilometer trail that features half a kilometer of boardwalk and a kilometer and a half of forest trail that loops back towards the parking lot and trailhead. The Waskasu River Trail is a beginner trail that can be completed with proper footwear, water, and lots of bug spray, and can be an afternoon of fun for the whole family. The Waskasu River flows through rifles, runs, and pools. Rifles are the fast parts. These miniature rapids are like the lungs of the river. The swift currents leave behind only large rocks forming bubbling sections where the water absorbs oxygen from the air. Creatures inhabiting rifles have the adaptations to keep them anchored in the current. Some have flattened streamlined bodies or hooked claws. Others keep to the downstream side of the rocks where they are shielded from the rush of water, like finding shelter from the wind behind stands of trees. Runs the slower areas where submerged plants sway in the water breeze. These are the, like the river's version of a forest, providing shelter for fish and invertebrates. Pools are quiet, slightly warmer waters. They accumulate nutrient-rich silt, which is cooked into a biological brew. First, aquatic creatures shred the dead plants and animals into fine bits. Then, bacteria decompose these ingredients, which provide raw materials for new growth. Today, no one knows for sure which rock was Old Man Rock. Native people relied on Waskasu River for thousands of years for food and transportation. For them, Old Man Rock was the home of the river spirits. As legend goes, people would leave a plug of tobacco, a feather, or some other token to ensure their safe passage. It was in the late 1880s when Europeans first paddled the Waskasu River to reach the small trading posts at the narrows of Waskasu Lake. Their travels represented the beginning of the different ways of life in the area. This is as far as the boardwalk takes you on the Waskasu River Trail. The next two kilometers leads back to the trailhead, or you can return back the way you came on the boardwalk. If you take the forest trail for the next two kilometers, I recommend proper footwear, mosquito spray. Just like the Waskasu Lake outlet on Mud Creek, the Waskasu River is also a no fishing zone, so leave your fishing rod at home. Thanks for watching and tune in again soon as we'll be featuring more videos from Prince Albert National Park in Saskatchewan, Canada, as well as other Saskatchewan parks in the near future on SNN. So check out all of the episodes on www.sasnews.net, that's Saskatchewan News Network's website, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and remember to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash saskanews.